Here's a little about me. My name's Charlie Hart, also known as Awesome Charlie. Awesome with an AU because I'm autistic. I've worked in HR for over 20 years and five years ago at the ripe old age of 42 I was diagnosed autistic around the same time that my oldest child was. I responded to that by becoming a neurodiversity advocate and I started to talk about neurodiversity inclusion, how and why to accommodate neurodivergent people in the workplace. That was five years ago. I've come a lot further since then and I'm really interested in inclusion for intersectional diversity and really just accepting that every individual is different. I've got good advice about how to make workplaces and work practices more inclusive and accessible for everybody. That's the standard. If you employ universal design principles to try and make work accessible to everyone, then accommodate individual needs on top of that, then you should be able to create a culture in which everyone can thrive as their authentic self without the need to worry about discrimination and stigma. But that's not enough. Yeah, we can look at the Equality Act 2010 and think about the protected characteristic disability. But there's a lot of people in the workplace who would benefit from reasonable adjustments but are not diagnosed with any kind of disability. They might have a disability but be completely oblivious to it. In every family with one diagnosed autistic, you'll find many more, and it's the same with ADHD. I'm afraid we're a generation where it just wasn't picked up, especially in women and those identified female as birth, at birth. So really what we need to do, if we want employees to thrive, which is in everybody's interests, we need to accommodate the individual needs of all humans in the workplace, working parents, introverts, anything really. Find out if you've got a team member who feels too shy to speak up in an online meeting. Make sure that there's another way to bring them into the conversation. It's really important to give everyone a voice, even those who normally struggle to be heard. The mark of an inclusive leader is giving everybody the chance to have their say and to be engaged, regardless of their neurotype, regardless of their personality type. That way we can create a workplace where everybody can thrive as their individual selves authentically, which is a win-win for everybody.